Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Psalms, chapter 9, verses 2, 2, 6, 5. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> verses 5, all right. Um, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou Most High. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. Mm. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sattest in the throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. I'm going to pause here for a minute. Pause for the cause. This is Pat. Pat's two cents now. You know, one of the things I always loved about God is that when I have found myself being under attack, going through, kind of like going through hell, <clears throat> God would always bring me a little taste of heaven and he would calm my spirits and let me know through his word that I have to say it in a, uh, a colloquial manner. Ain't no devil in hell going to take my peace. And there are devils right there where you live, where you work, where you even where you worship. Mm -hmm. And there are people right there in your family even that will wreak havoc on your life because they have issues, not you. Now, what I want to say to you is you almost have to see that, that attack from the enemy as a little chihuahua. You ever see a little chihuahua? Huh? I mean, they bark, they, they, they're charging, they're going through all kind of changes. And all you got to do is take your finger and thump them. And they'll go flying across to the other neighborhood. But be that as it may, you have to see some of these people that are coming against you as being moved and manipulated. You see this big person and they look threatening and all that. But consider, picture them being moved and manipulated by this little chihuahua. Yeah, the little chihuahua is the little imp. I mean, he doesn't even deserve the name demon. He's just a little imp. All he's trying to do is steal your peace and your joy. So, you almost have to, you have to laugh at times. You really do. Sometimes we feel like crying. But that's why you have to get with God. Because the thing I love about God is even though the situation hasn't changed right away, as soon as it starts, and that chihuahua starts making all that noise, your feelings start getting hurt. That's the first thing that starts happening. You get angry. You get offended. Well, hey, guess what? You've got a God in heaven that rules the universe. So if he can rule the universe... He can definitely rule your emotions. So what you say at that moment, even though you may have a right to be upset, is, this is these are my favorite words, Lord, take the hurt out in the name of Jesus. Lord, take the anger out in the name of Jesus. I mean, it, <laughs> and help me forgive while you're doing it. God can do all of that while the offense is still happening. That's how miraculous, how powerful he is. He can control what you can. But if you ask him, you won't have to try to control it. You ask him to diminish it, to actually diffuse you, to put out the, the flames. He will douse the flames and you, you won't be able to look for the anger if you dug for it. I'm telling you from experience. Peace be still. Remember those, those words. 
Lord, take out the blank. Take out the blank. I don't care if it's hurt. I don't care if it's pain. I don't care if it's betrayal. I don't care what it is. Take it out. No poop butt on your job or in your family has the right to control your emotions. The only way they can control your emotions is if you allow it. But since you can't stop it in the natural, you have to go to your God, which is in heaven, who controls the universe. And guess what? Let him handle it. When you were young, if you had a big brother or a big friend or whatever, or your daddy or whoever that protected you, you ran for their protection. You weren't worried. You'd be back there swinging your fist like you were doing something because you knew the battle was over. Well, guess what, buddy? Tis the case with your heavenly father. He will defend you, baby. He will kick devil butt from hell to hell and back on your behalf. You have no idea how much he loves you how much he cares for you and how much he hates you being attacked and offended and oppressed oh he'll come to your rescue I'm telling you from experience he will make your enemy look like a fool in front of everybody okay let, let me tell the story I thought about telling it earlier but it's coming back I was in court this guy had accused me of hitting him and he had actually slowed down and rubbed up in me just enough on my left tail to make sure that he got enough of a scratch. Well, see, I was driving the city bus. So I was ahead of him. He was way back there at the back of the bus just trying to get him a little scrape so he could sue either me or RTD. So here I am having to go to jail. I mean, afraid of it but having to go to court okay now I'm sitting up here and I'm preparing and my mother and father I am telling you I thank God for them my mother and father said what did you learn what did you major in in junior college and in high school and I said theater arts and they said well baby put it to work and I said oh Okay, she said, don't let them see your fear. Now, as I'm saying that, I feel like that's what you should hear. Don't let them see your fear. Mm. I don't know what God's going to do with that. That's between you and God. He, now, that doesn't mean you act a butt. No, you represent God. But don't let them see your fear. Now, you know how they say fake it till you make it? I was faking it big time. And I put on this stage presence and I had my whole thing planned out and I drew out and put the little mechanisms on the magnetic board and showed them what happened and the time sequence and the everything. When I got through, I came out smelling like a rose. It wasn't my fault. But they tried to make it look like it was. He had the cops on his side. Mm-hmm. I'm standing up there, no attorney, no nothing. But guess what? I put my acting skills at work. And I did not show the fear I was definitely feeling. That judge almost made fun of the guys and the cops and told me to go home and have a nice day. Don't show your fear. As Psalms 46 says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. No, be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Be still. Inside, be still. Calm that baby down. You can't do it. Don't get the liquor. Don't take the sleeping pill. Go to the master of the universe. Lord, calm this thing back down. Put the fire out. 
in the name of Jesus so that I don't go off and act a butt because I represent you. Help me. You'd be surprised. You go to work the next day, you'd be like, mm, yeah, I'm cool. I'm chilling, baby. I'm mellow as a cello. Thank you, Jesus. And you will be shocked at how God can settle you down just like that. And people are looking at you, waiting for you to be bouncing off the walls. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And God's got you so mellow. You're just strolling in with your swagger. Got your swagger back. Mm-hmm. Like you're getting ready to get a promotion. And they're just amazed. Uh-huh. Because you're glorifying God. You're acting like the head that you are, not the tail that you're not. Mm. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going on and on. I don't want this to be a 30-minute video. Folks lose attention real quick. So we'll stop here, and whatever else the Lord wants to say, we'll say on the next video, if there is another video. In the meantime, peace be still. The battle is the Lord's, and you chill, baby. Because it's going to be A-OK. -okay. God's got your back.